G'day. Paul here with my mate Colin, my Irish mate. And we go to the same church and we're in the same men's group. And today we're talking about being careful about what comes out of your mouth. Because God is watching everything we do. In Isaiah, uh, in chapter 6 of Isaiah, in the year that King Uzziah died, he says, I saw the Lord high and exalted, seated on a throne, and the train of his robes filled the temple. And above him were seraphim, each with six wings. Two wings they covered their faces, with two they covered their feet, and with two they were flying. And they were calling out to one another, Holy, holy, holy is the Lord Almighty. The whole earth is full of his glory. At the sound of their voices, the doorposts and the threshold shook and the temple was filled with smoke. And Isaiah says this, he says, Woe to me, he said, I am ruined for I am a man of unclean lips and I live among people of unclean lips and my eyes have seen the King, the Lord Almighty. So he felt so ashamed of what he'd been saying. And it's so important. The Lord hates a few of these things. So I'll ask Colin to read what the Lord hates. Well, this is from Proverbs 6. There are six things the Lord hates, seven that are detestable to him. Haughty eyes, a lying tongue, hands that shed innocent blood, a heart that devises wicked schemes, feet that are quick to rush into evil, a false witness who pours out lies, and a person who stirs up conflict in the community. See, it's what's coming out of our, our mouth. If we're lying, the Lord hates it. If we're stirring up conflict, the Lord hates that. And so, if we're proud, if we've got a lying tongue, if we're shedding innocent blood, these are things the Lord hates. So it's really important as Christians to be very careful with what comes out of our mouth. Our mouth has power in it, Amen. power to destroy, but also power to encourage and lift up. That's right. And so we as Christians need to be very, very careful about what we speak. And if we do get into gossip or slander or things like that, backbiting, uh, then we've got to repent. We need to repent and say, Lord, forgive me. I won't do that again. Try not to do that again. The devil uses us to bring division in the church, division in families, and so it's very important. Just watch what you do with your tongue. What do you reckon? I reckon that's quite true, mate. Quite true. So there you are from the tool shed here in Coolum Beach. It's Colin and Paul saying, see you later. See you later, alligator. <laughs> <laughs> see you later, alligator. <laughs> Thank you.